let's talk about slope and what it is. And so the idea behind slope is it's the pitch. It's what we call the rise over the run. If something rises very quickly or drops very quickly compared to how far it runs, then we say it's steep. And it has a slope. So if we've got a roof, and that roof, it's as it goes up 10 feet, if it goes over 10 feet, then it, or down 10 feet, then it's got a fairly simple slope. But if we have one that goes up 20 feet for 10, then it's a little bit steeper. And so the idea behind slope is how steep is something? And going from left to right, we want to define our slope to be positive means it's going up and negative means it's going down. So this would have a positive slope as it comes up and as it comes back down it would have a negative slope. And remember our definition of rise over run? That's where I'm getting this 2 from. It's 20 divided by 10. How much it went up divided by how much it went over. And of course as it comes down this would be minus 20 because it drops 20 and it goes over 10 to give a minus 2. Now, suppose we have two points sitting out in our rectangular coordinate plane. We have one over at 3, 6, and another one at minus 2, 2. And so we've got some line connecting these two. But what we want to know is what's the slope of that line? And so what we want to know is we want to know how much it goes up from here to here as opposed to how much it goes over. So what's its rise over its run? And so to get the rise, the rise is simply one y value, which we'll subscript 2, minus the other one, which we subscript 1. So we're going to call this x2, y2 and this x1, y1. And that gives us our rise subtracting the y values one from the other. The run is similar. It's just x2 minus x1. And the key here is it doesn't matter which one you label x2 and which one you label y2 and which one's x1 and which one's y1. What matters that is for a given point, if this is my y2, then this is my y1. So if this is my y2, or my x2, if this is y2, then this is x2, and if this is y1, then this is x1 so that a given point has the same subscript. And our formula for slope, which we're going to use the variable m to be, is the rise divided by the run. So for this particular value we get 6 minus 2 divided by, since I used the 6 first, I've got to use its matching x value of 3 minus a negative 2. And so this gives 6 minus 2 is 4. 3 minus a minus 2 is 5, and that's my slope. Now notice if I went with it the other way, if I decided to do the 2 first, then we'd be subtracting the 6 second, which means the minus 2 is going to come first on bottom. And when we subtract, we're going to subtract the 3, and 2 minus 6 is minus 4, and minus 2 minus 3 is minus 5, and a negative divided by a negative is a positive. So it doesn't matter which one we put first or which one we put second. It just matters that we keep them the same and that we put the y's on top and the x's on bottom. But our slope, regardless of which way we do it, is 4 over 5. For our second point, let's just say we have the points minus 4, 2, and 5, 1, and we're trying to find the slope. So we're just going to pick, this is x1, y1, and this is x2, y2. And so we're going to pick our y2 value first, so m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And so this is going to be 
1 on top, 5 on bottom, minus 2 on top, and a minus 4 on bottom. 1 minus 2 is minus 1, 5 minus a minus 4 is 9. So our slope is minus 1 over 9, or negative 1 over 9. Both will be accepted. And that's how we find the slope if we're given two points.